Hey, hey, hey. So today I wanted to talk about Influencer. Um, I did, I've done some Influencer reviews and I did a video, a short video on it a while ago. And I said I was going to post a video with tips and like hacks and stuff. And then I never did because I forgot. And um, I was thinking about it today and I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and make that. So um, first things first, let's talk about Influencer uh, and what Influencer is. So Influencer Influencer, not influencer, it's influencer, S T E R, um, is a website where you can sign up. Um, companies are always looking for people to kind of promote their product, to try their product, do a review, and thereby like post about it on social media. Essentially, that's what influencer is. Um, it is absolutely 100% free to join influencer. Um, Let's see. I do have notes here. Um, I will include a link in the description. I don't know if I have a referral link because I don't know what you would get for referring people to Influencer because they, they they don't, I mean, they're just kind of the middleman between you and the companies who need to get their product or they want to advertise and market their product. Um, but it is most of what you do with influencers is going to be done on an app. You can sign up and you can do certain things on a computer. You can take their surveys on the computer. You can log into your account. You can look at different things. You can um, do fill out your profile, sign up, and do all that stuff um, on a computer. But when it comes to doing the box boxes, the products that you receive and reviewing them and posting them on social media and doing all of that stuff, you need a, a device with a mobile app. So just be aware that when you sign, it is free to sign up. But you will have to have a, a mobile device, something that you, you can use the app on, um, because you can't post to social media for your campaigns on the website. I know because I've tried because I had I've had issues with my phone. There are different issues that come up with Influencer. I'm not going to discuss those in this video, um, but I've tried to post using my computer and it doesn't work. You have to do it on the app. So just be aware of that. Um, so your first step would be of course, to create an account. You fill in all that information, your name, first name, last name, all that stuff. Um, they ask you some questions. They ask who you live with, how many people are in your household, how much about how much you make a year. Um, they're getting that for analytics, right? So when they say that, um, you know, those studies come out that let's say it's a mascara that they're testing and they find that women, who are 35 to 44 years old, which is unfortunately the age range that I fall into, um, go to the drugstore to buy a mascara, they are more likely to choose blank mascara, okay? Or, you know, middle class incomes with you make X amount to X amount or whatever, um, you know, they use that for an analytical purposes, okay? When you um, talk about your reviews, all that good stuff. All right, so you do all of that stuff, okay? The first thing that you need to do, link your social media accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you, if you want to be on Influencer and you want to get some free products and you don't have social media accounts, you don't use social media, good luck, okay? Um, right now they don't accept YouTube. Um, I don't think they do anyway. They were working on it, but it's the big ones. It's like they have Pinterest, Facebook. Uh, they do offer, you can connect your YouTube, but it doesn't count towards you. And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, Instagram, I was trying to think of it. Um, did I say Pinterest already? I feel like I did. And there's like a couple of, couple more. I think there's Twitter. I think there's Snapchat is on there too. But um, what they use that for, when you connect your social medias, basically they calculate um, or, or how much of it, how much influence you have, Right. So if you have 4,000 friends on Facebook and you have, let's say, 400 followers on Instagram, okay, um, they take those two numbers. If that's the only two that you connect, which those are probably the big two for most people. Most of you watching this are going to have more Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, and they total up your score, and then the higher your score, the more likely you are to get offers for Vox Boxes, the more likely you are to actually receive free products, the more likely you are um, to want companies, to, you to, they want you to promote the product, okay? Because you have more people that you're influencing um, by posting, okay? So, um, 
let's see, I don't use Snapchat. I don't use TikTok. I don't think I have my YouTube connected. Um, so the big one is Facebook, Instagram, and I think I have Twitter, although I don't really use Twitter very much. Um, it's just so that if there's an, if there's a particular campaign that wants me to post about it on Twitter, then I can post about it on Twitter. Um, so after you go ahead and link your social medias and I know like you have to log in and like give them certain permissions. Trust me, it will be worth it if you want to, if you're not comfortable doing that, then I'm sorry, influencer is not going to be for you. I was a little leery about it at first, but there's a lot of people on the website. They, a lot of them have their social medias linked. You know, a lot of websites will allow you to link social medias an hour or sign in through a social media. So, um, if you do that, it shouldn't be any big deal, but if it is, I'm sorry, you know, you could do it without linking social medias, but you may not get a whole lot of surveys offered to you or a whole lot of box boxes um, that you would, I don't want to say qualify for because it's not necessarily qualified, but you may not get selected because the companies plus influencer kind of go in and they select the people who would be most successful at promoting that product. All right. Your second step is to fill out your profile. Okay. Um, of course, this means, you know, your name, your address, they need a good mailing address. I don't remember if they accept PO boxes or not. There's some company that I ordered stuff through that they don't do PO boxes. They won't ship to PO boxes and it may have been unique. I don't remember. It may be influencer that they don't accept PO boxes. Like it has to be an actual address. Um, so you, you'll need a good mailing address. It doesn't necessarily have to be yours. They're not going to ask for verification. They're not going to say, you know, make sure that this is your address. It can be like to your parents' house, right? If you have a PO box and um, don't want to give out your, your uh, residential address or your exact address, you want, maybe it shipped wherever you want products. So if you want it shipped to your parents' house or to your best friends, whatever it is. Okay. They will need a good mailing address. Okay. You have to put that in there. If you want to actually receive your box boxes, um, your third step is your preferences. This is probably the most important part of your influencer profile. Okay. So your preferences is they will ask you, I don't remember if it is your interests or your product categories. I think there's kind of both. They ask what you're interested in. Okay. So for me, I pick health, beauty, makeup, skincare. I think it's just like health and beauty. That's a big one for me. I'm very interested in receiving and trying out makeup and skincare. I just am. Food is another big one. I love receiving snacks and different foods to, to try out. Um, they also have like for drinks, if you were, would be willing to try something alcoholic versus non-alcoholic. Um, I'm not sure how that would work, how they would, they have that ability to check it. Um, You know, it's, it's it, things that interest you, things that you would be willing to do a review about, things that you actually want to try. And the tips I have for your preferences, because this is very important, so listen up, um, is do be honest. Don't select interests you don't really have. Do not select interests in things that you just want to get free products for, okay? Remember to select, select interests or categories that include products you will actually want to review, such as, like... If you said that you, because Jason has an influencer, okay? He posts on stuff too. I got him going with it too. His interests are different from mine, okay? He he doesn't mind skincare, but that's not like a big thing for him, right? But electronics is. He would love to try out new cell phone stuff. He would love to try out, you know, new computer stuff, new gaming stuff. Um, but if you don't have an Xbox, don't select Xbox games or whatever, as an interest under electronics just so you can get free games because I'll tell you um because I've thought about that um if you're unable to review it I've been offered like lawn stuff before and we lived in an apartment and our landlord took care of the lawn care so that wasn't some one of my concerns you know I wasn't able to go out and try it out I was also offered baby stuff because I have a child and even though they ask how old your child is, they're less like, well, would you like to try diapers? Would you like to try this or that? Or, you know, like diaper cream. And it's just like, I no, Right. So don't say a product category just to get a free product. If you don't have the means to try it out, like 
my example is going to be don't don't say electronics just to get a free video game if you don't have the the actual system to test it on okay or have access to a system you don't have to actually have the system your friend could have the game system okay and you say well i really like xbox games because i go over to my friend's house and i play xbox games okay i don't know why it's xbox and why it's not playstation or nintendo whatever but you guys know what i mean and you could actually get the game if they send i've never had video games sent to me because we don't have any gaming systems so that's not one of our things um but you could, if they send out the game, they could send you the game and say, here, you know, review this, like, let us know what you think, whatever, and then promote it. You could use your friend's system, obviously, to review it. You just need access to that game. So you don't have to have it yourself. You just have to have access to one that you can use. Okay. Another thing that I want to specify with preferences is to be open about which product categories you select. Be very, very open. I want you to really think about this because, and later on I'm going to talk about being specific too, but in, in a slightly different way. Um, be very open about what you, what you select. Um, be honest about it because if you do get offered a box box, they are going to want you probably to post on social media. So if that's not something you're comfortable doing with that particular product, um, then maybe don't select that product category, I guess. Um, and one thing that I want, I want to get more specific about this. Okay. So consider which things or products that interest you that would be more likely to be sent out from the company, whether full size products or samples for people to try. Think about, you know, health and beauty is a good one. We get a lot of those. There are a lot of us that do, um, beauty, makeup and skincare reviews. They send out hair. I get hair quizzes all the time. Um, you know, but I've gotten hair care products to review. If you follow any of my social media, you've seen, especially my Instagram, because most of them are posted on Instagram. I've received, um, you know, makeup. I've received Charlotte Tilbury makeup for free, which is expensive. I have received a whole, a full bottle of Aleve medicine for free. We have received Campbell's soup for free. The ones that you pop in the microwave. And I think that you can like drink right out of them. They're, they're freaking good. Um, we've, I've received different medicines for me and for my son to try out. I've received a toy. I think I've received a couple of toys for him to try out. I've received a greeting card to try out. I've received, um, a soap bar to try out in the shower. I have received, um, perfume. My husband has received cologne. Um, I've received macaroni and cheese. I have received... Um, some, oh, I want to say they were pads, but they weren't, they were like incontinence pads, but th these, these suckers were thick. They were like this thick. And I'm going to, I'm going to like, as a mom, I can kind of appreciate that. But you know, in the community, cause there's a community tab in the app, uh, when you're in a box box campaign, people were saying that they use them for their monthly rather than for incontinence. <clears throat> And um, we're reviewing it that way. So it's kind of like, there are stuff like that that you could get. You could get um, hemorrhoid cream. I've never received that, but that's something you could get. So just keep in mind that you could get stuff like, I received um, stomach pills, like, um, I don't know if it was antacid or if it was like Pepto-Bismol kind of stuff um, that I've tried out. Not everything they want you to post on social media. Um, I think the pads, you was just a review on influencer. So you just, re they send it to you, you review it and you post your review on influencer. Um, but, and I'll get kind of to that later, but remember that, you know, when you select like health, you could open yourself up to items like that. Okay. It, you have always the option to opt out. Okay. If you don't want to post about that particular product or whatever. All right. But I will say that we are all human. We are all deal with things. So I was more than willing to post about the incontinence pads or, you know, even using them as, you know, for your monthly cycle on Instagram and on social media, because we're all adults. Okay. All of us adults, we're adults. We know that these things happen. Okay. We all go through this. We all have issues with this. Um, as long as you're not vulgar and stuff about it too. Okay. So one example that I have for considering things.
things that interest you, but that you might be more likely to get products for is like if electronics interests you, consider whether gaming companies would actually send out full gaming systems versus video games to play on said gaming systems. Um, so gaming systems are something that you can select as an interest under electronics, right? Video games, computer games. I don't know how often those get sent out um, because we don't... Jason hasn't gotten very many quizzes about those. Let's just say that. Um, I don't foresee them sending out a $400 PlayStation gaming system to 10,000 people or 1,000 people. I don't know how many people they pick for a general campaign. I just don't foresee that happening. Whereas if it's a $50 game, they may be more open to sending that out to some people to try out and post about, right? Because it'll draw attention to the brand. It's the same with computers, laptops, and cell phones, okay? Think about cell phones. You're not likely to actually get a full cell phone from Influencer. You're just not. Because those companies, especially like an iPhone, they're not gonna send you a $1,200 phone, okay? Most likely, they could, they always could but they're not likely to, okay? So what you're more likely to get is cell phone cases, okay? That's a big one because you can get cell phone cases that range in price, okay? And companies want you to post about that. They want you to, um, you know, they want to bring attention to that. You could receive cell phone accessories like headphones that you plug in or I don't know, whatever, right? Okay, so it's more like, Think about things that interest you that people might actually send out. So like a $400 gaming system, probably not, but a $50 game, maybe, okay? I have received uh, Charlotte Tilbury, it was the, not the Magic Cream. I received a sample size of the Magic Cream, but I got the, um, it's the Hollywood Flawless Filter Air, Airbrush Flawless, Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's like a, like a glowing primer, okay? It's like a really dewy primer. Um, and it's expensive. It's like $45, $50 for the full size product. And they did send that to me. Well, for... I forgot to fix my brow. Okay. Now, along with, um, being open about which product categories you select, I'm going to tell you to be vague if needed, because it does open up a lot more products to you. So what that means is you can be as specific as you want to. Just understand that just like on Google, when you type in a search on Google, the more specific you are, the less results you could possibly get, right? Whereas if you type one word, you're going to get a whole lot more results, okay? So when you're thinking about categories that interest you, you can either be vague or you can be a little bit more specific. You know, I'm kind of vague with health, beauty, skincare because I'm pretty open to anything. I'm willing to try medications. I'm willing to try skincare. I'm willing to try all kinds of makeup. I'm always here for the makeup. Okay. Um, but with maybe stationary, it's kind of just stationary or, you know, stationary. If it, if you want to get more into it, like I'm willing to try notebooks or pens or, um, stickers or whatever, you know, you can be as specific as you want to just remember that the more specific you are as far as, cause like there's general categories and then it, it opens up like different things. Um, just remember that the more specific things that you check, you're going to get sent surveys or surveys offered to you for box boxes that are in alignment with that. So influencer is going to look for people who have that on their profile and they're going to offer that box to them or take the quiz to see if you would be a good match for them. Um, okay. Now I'm going to also say, don't be afraid to be specific. Um, I find this mostly with food items. Um, especially if you're allergic to something or if you have a sensitivity to it, Jason cannot have garlic. Okay. Um, his, his foods that he receives, he can't have garlic. Okay. It, it upsets his stomach. It makes him sick. So he, you know, has to say, I mean, I, not that garlic is on there. It's more like gluten-free soy, um, like I want to say organic, vegan, vegetarian, they ask you all of these things. Don't be afraid to be specific if that happens to you. Okay. Um, because if you get offered a food item that happens to have even a tiny amount of an ingredient that gives you an allergic reaction, you know, it depends on how allergic you are to it, but you know, sometimes a tiny amount could give you a, could be a huge, if you're really allergic to it, it could give you a very severe reaction. And obviously we don't want that 
you know, the site doesn't want that. I, as a human being, don't want that for you. You know, you don't want to, to do that. Um, skincare is another one. Skincare, they have been asking, um, they'll ask you certain ingredients like hyaluronic acid, retinol A, formaldehyde. Believe it or not, formaldehyde is an ingredient, a pretty common ingredient in a lot of skincare products that you can, when I'm offered a skincare box box, I always uncheck that one. I am not okay with using products with formaldehyde in it. Not okay. That's what they use to preserve frogs that they cut up in junior high. That's what they use to preserve, you know, deceased people. Like, no, no, ma'am. No, 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 no. I don't want that anywhere near my skin. Okay. Um, it's also, there's ingredients that maybe you just don't like, but there's also, if certain ingredients break you out, like Teresa is dead has said that, you know, stuff with coconut oil just really doesn't agree with her skin. She kind of breaks out. Just, it's not a good time for her. So she does prefers products that don't have coconut oil. So if she were to do influencer, she can say no to coconut oil, right? Or if uh, the ingredients like that you don't want to use contain that kind of things like the formaldehyde, or if you're not comfortable using retinol A, um, there's different risks associated with it. And of course, they tell you, you know, are the are you comfortable using skincare with these ingredients on the surveys? And you can, you know, you check the ingredients that you're comfortable using. Okay. Unfortunately, like I have no control over that. And I'm not aff affiliated with influencer. I don't want you to think I'm representing the website or anything. I'm just giving you my tips on my experience with it. I've been using the website for about a year and a half, two years. And I am pretty consistently on box boxes. Like I pretty consistently have box boxes or products that I need to take pictures and post and promote about. So, so take these, I mean, take that for what you will. Um, also another thing with Influencer, it can be either brands that you, you know already, or it can be new brands to you. Okay. Don't think that you just have to try stuff that maybe you've never tried before. Okay. You could get offered like, I love the Benefit Cosmetics, um, their real magnet mascara. Okay. Love it. If I were offered a Vox box with that in it, I would 100% do it. Okay. I love the product. I love the product and to get it for free is freaking amazing. Okay. Um, I also try to be very honest with my reviews. I'm not, some people will sign up for influencer to receive the free products and they post a picture they open the box and they post a picture of the box that they received or like so thankful. And they use the hashtags and everything that they tell them to use um, for the campaign, which they tell you, they give you instructions. So it's not like they're just telling you, Hey, you know, just go post this. No, they want you to use specific hashtags. They want you to tag specific people. It's not difficult at all. My husband can do it. My husband and not put anything on him, but he is not the most social media savvy person. Okay. I've had to help him a little bit. It's very easy to figure out. Okay. Super, super easy. It's not hard at all. Um, but they do have certain things that they want you to say. So some people will even just take a picture of the box as it's opened, post the hashtags and you know, they get it done and they post it wherever they want it to be posted. Right. Um, I'm somebody who, if I get sent a product, if I get chosen, I feel so honored. Like I always feel so honored to receive a box box because that company along with influencer chose me to try that product out. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to give it a good try and do an honest review about it. All right. All right. The fourth step, take any surveys available to you or that are emailed to you. Okay. It used to be that they would email you. Um, would you be interested in this box box or would you qualify for this campaign? You take the survey, you answer the questions. They'll answer you, ask you questions like, um, you know, one of the common ones is how, how much do you value a healthy lifestyle, right? Or for me with makeup, it's, you know, what ingredients do you like? And then if it's a specific product, like a lip product, they will show you shades of lipstick or the shades of the lip product. Which colors are you willing to try? If it's a foundation, which colors would match you the most? Fail to do so, okay? If you fail to answer the surveys, if you fail, because they they always have a deadline and they always give you two to three days to do it. Um, at least they used to. They kind of revamped their app now. Um, if you don't take the surveys, you could miss out on that box box. Now, I don't think they email them to you so much as you get like a notification from Influencer at the app saying new survey available 
Okay. You go in, you take the survey and it'll say like a beauty box box for me, beauty box box, makeup, hair care, skin care, um, a family box box, a kids, whatever it is. Okay. It'll say that on there. So you know what kind of box box it is. Now, um, I just want to add, this is kind of in conclusion, cause I know this video has gone on for way too long. You will always have the option to either opt in or opt out of any brand campaign at the end of the survey. So if the survey asks you about mascara, lipstick, and eyeliner, okay, and let's say the company is uh, mascara, I don't know, let's say Too Faced, okay. Too Faced has a mascara that they want you to test out, and they want you to post on Influencer, Instagram, and Facebook, okay. You can opt in or you can opt out. If, you know, the lipstick, it, you know, if there were no shades that you liked, obviously they probably wouldn't offer that to you. Um, I usually, I try to select as many shades as I can because I'm pretty open with makeup. I'm pretty open to play with colors. There are certain colors that I, I won't mess with, um, like orange blush. I tend not to, I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that goes with my skin tone. Um, but you will have the opportunity to opt in or out. It'll... I mean, it won't tell you the exact product you're going to be reviewing, but it will say like Too Faced of a Too Faced product and you have, and it'll tell you where it wants you to post. Okay. Where they want you to post about that product. Um, so if it's somewhere you're uncomfortable posting like Snapchat, then you can opt out and that does not affect your influencer, uh, ranking. If you do receive a Vox box and you do not complete the activities in the campaign by the due date of the Vox box, which is usually a month if not more, if you fail to complete the activities by the due date, um, you may not receive future Vox boxes. They do tell you that. Um, you know, I've not missed any. And I think that's probably why I get so many is because I, I do them, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes I do them right away. Sometimes I wait. Usually I like to wait. I mean, the food ones, it's not that hard. You either try it and you like it or you don't like it. You know what I mean? You don't need to use it two or three times. With beauty, skincare, makeup, you need to try it a couple of times in order to form a valid opinion on it, right? So if you're really looking to review stuff and, you know, wanting to give people your opinion and you want to get stuff for free, this is a great option, opportunity for you. Um, there's also, I like, they tell you where they want you to post, okay? So if there's a, a website that you are not comfortable posting on, like this, like Sephora.com is a popular one. Um, you can always opt out too. I don't use TikTok. I don't do TikTok. I won't use TikTok. Um, I won't post on there. And I've actually had to opt out of a sev several campaigns that I really, really hated to. One of them was Too Faced and I really wanted that campaign um, because I, I tend to like Too Faced products, but they wanted to post on TikTok, and I don't have the app downloaded to my phone. I don't, um, I don't, I don't do TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. I don't post TikToks. I don't do TikToks. I don't have anything against people who do. It's I, sometimes they're really freaking hilarious. I just, I, I view TikTok as kind of a, a time suck, and for me, it's kind of, if I need to be doing X, Y, and Z, and I get stuck watching TikToks for five hours, then I'm not going to be getting what I need to get done done. So it was kind of, I can't download TikTok because then I'll be on TikTok. <laughs> you know, you go and watch one more video and you're like, okay, just one more, just one more, just one more. Okay. So I don't have anything against TikTok, although they are owned allegedly by China. And, and there's, there's all of that conspiracy out there, which scares the crap out of me. But, um, I don't use TikTok and I don't, I don't use Snapchat. I don't have Snapchat downloaded to my phone currently. I have used it in the past. I don't use it now. Jason doesn't have it, doesn't use it. I don't really have anybody that I would do Snapchats with. Like I have people that I added, but like, I, I feel like Snapchat is for like teenagers. Like it's just, it's not something that I do. You know, if I have something to tell you, I don't, why do I have to take a picture and send a message with it? Why can't I just message you? It's so frustrating for me, but so if there's websites that you don't, it tells you what websites they want you to put a review on. So if there happens to be one that you're like, oh, I don't, I don't mess with them. I don't F with them. Like I'm not doing that. You can totally opt out and it won't affect you at all. Okay. Um, do not think that just because you opt in and give them your information, your mailing address and all that stuff that you're automatically going to get the box box. 
I, you could take a ton of surveys and get one box box. Okay. Um, you could take, you could take 10 surveys and get two box boxes. And each survey usually has two to three product, two to three companies on it. Usually every now and again, you do a survey that's for like one company and it's kind of weird. It's, they're usually very short. Um, but don't forget to do the surveys, make sure your preferences are correct. Go through and think to yourself. Okay. Think like the head of a company. What am I more likely to send out? Okay versus necessarily like I don't want to say check incorrect interest because that's not what I'm telling you but just think about what's more likely to get sent out and what you're actually able to receive so like this video if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already bring that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video because you never know what kind of content is going to pop up over here on this channel I thank you so so much for watching I love you very very much let me know in the comments if this helped you at all and I will see you in the next one bye Really? Really?